Good morning. I'm Amy Slaughter Myers, one of the co-rectors here at St. Francis Episcopal Parish and Community Center. I am standing in our sanctuary today and I am holding this cross, the San Damiano cross. If you haven't seen it before or heard of it before, it is the cross that um, St. Francis of Assisi was said to be praying under when he received the call from God to rebuild God's church and to figure out what that meant both for him and for the world. And as I think about us here at St. Francis Episcopal Parish and Community Center, we were born in 2020, born in a pandemic, born in the midst of so much chaos and change. And what is our communal call? What are we being called as a community to do um, to follow God's voice in this time? Amy, can I see the cross? Sure. And my name's Christopher. I'm uh, the other co-rector here at St. Francis Episcopal Parish and Community Center. Uh, I'm, I love this cross, and I'm glad that Amy uh, is reintroducing this to us as we, as we uh, continue this journey together. This call that, that God put on Francis's life, I like to think that he, uh, he didn't understand the fullness of that because I think it reminds me that we never understand the fullness of what God is really doing. But we try, and in community, we discern together and we, uh, we get clarity and then we act. So as, we, as we're each trying to figure out what God is calling us to in our lives, um, I have some exciting news to share with you. And this work of repair and this work of rebuilding in the world that we live in, work that is not about holding up the institution of the church, but really about transforming the world and bringing justice and love and mercy into the world in ways that embody humility. As we ponder this mission, I have been uh, given an incredible opportunity by our bishop, uh, Bishop Sutton here in the Diocese of Maryland, to serve in a halftime capacity beginning in September uh, as interim canon for congregational vitality. This is work that I care a lot about, and this people here at St. Francis, our parish and community center, are embodying uh, just some of the best of what congregational vitality can look like. And so here we have an exciting opportunity uh, for me to step out of some of the work that I'm doing here at St. Francis in a way, um, but to continue also working with Amy as co-rector as we expand the scope of our ministry in the world that we're a part of, as we take the gifts that we've been given and, uh, and we allow God to use us in new and different ways. We are a part of this diocese, and as God uses us uh, to really transform the world, uh, it's an exciting time. Our vestry uh, is excited and on board with this. Uh, I know Amy and I are really excited about the opportunity. And, and the truth is that we have some time. We have till September to figure out exactly what this is going to look like. But we wanted you all to know, uh, to hear about this good news that God is up to as uh, we respond to this call together to rebuild God's house. What does it mean to be called as a Franciscan community to rebuild God's house? So you're going to be hearing much more about this incredible opportunity, both for us as a community and for Christopher to start on serving on diocesan staff half time officially and September 1st. And we look forward to engaging with you all more about how this is going to unfold and what you hear about what God is calling us to do and be. God's peace be with you.